nonprofit organization relies most heavily on its supporters in order to continue pursuing its mission and outreach. As such, engaging these individuals is truly one of the most crucial portions of fundraising letters and direct mail. That being said, one of the easiest ways to garner supporters' attention is by personalizing the direct mail they receive. Before we get to building your engagement strategy, we first need to lay some groundwork about what it means to truly engage your donors. When a supporter is engaged in your nonprofit, they have an overall positive feeling towards your organization and want to see you thrive. Now that we understand how to tell if your supporters are engaged, let's dive into how we can improve your chances for supporter engagement and interaction through your fundraising efforts. For example, personalizing your fundraising letters can offer the following key benefits. Number one, get your fundraising letter read. The first step to engaging supporters is to get them to open your envelopes and read your fundraising letters in the first place. We already know that direct mail is the single greatest source of donations for nonprofits, but there are a few key ways in which you can optimize your marketing efforts and gain a larger conversion rate when reaching out to your supporters. The answer, personalization, personalization, and personalization. This can't be stressed enough as one of the most important ways to spark your supporters' interest is by giving them letters they may be interested in. One way to do this is by segmenting your donor data as much as possible to specify the type of mail you are sending to each recipient. In doing this, you can target individuals based on their specific interests rather than generalizing attention grabbers in your letters. The next step to getting your letter read is by calling your supporters to action. In doing this, you encourage your reader to do things like spread the word about your fundraiser or participate in campaigns that directly affect your nonprofit's mission. When your members spread awareness about your organization, not only does it give your supporters a purpose, but it also gives you free word of mouth marketing and allows you to maximize your invested efforts in your existing campaigns. Number two, improve the donor experience. Another reason to emphasize personalization in fundraising is that it significantly improves the donor experience. If you're looking to do so, here are two actionable steps you can take. Carefully craft your fundraising letters. Your fundraising letters should be welcoming and enjoyable to read. In doing this, you make the experience of reading your letter more memorable and increase the likelihood of engagement and conversion. Invest in donor management software. The second thing you can do to improve upon your donor's overall experience is by utilizing a nonprofit CRM. A nonprofit CRM or constituent relationship management system will allow you to effectively personalize aspects of your letters. This strategy allows your nonprofit to capitalize heaps of unused data, which can greatly improve your donor's experience overall. Number three, increase the likelihood of conversion. The most important part of securing the, don the donation is the ask. First, you must establish that you, the organization, are asking for donations to support your mission. That being said, make sure you focus on the donor, not the cause. The next step is to make the actual giving part as easy as possible. For example, you always want to include a pre-addressed return envelope with any fundraising letters you send. However, if you know that a particular recipient prefers to make their donations online, be sure to include the URL for your handy online donation page so they can quickly and easily make their donation. Build long-term relationships. Now that you have mastered conversion, the next step is retention. When your organization is trying to raise donations, a good rule of thumb is to shoot for the second donation. If a donor gives a second time, you have truly captured them as a repeat donor. Another way to increase retention is by making recurring gift opportunities easily accessible. In doing this, you are likely increasing your chances of getting recurring donors on board, which will help increase revenue collected and donor retention. When it's time to ask for donations again, there are a few things that you can do to maintain all that hard work you had put into the previous fundraiser. Respark your members' interest with a fresh fundraising campaign. In doing this, you get the chance to rebuild your engagement levels with supporters and even encourage them to spread the word among their own networks. Make sure that your donation tools are up to date. After all, the best fundraising letters won't make much of a difference if your recipients can't figure out how to make the donation once they've decided to give. Update your donor and prospect research. Not only might their interests have shifted, but they may also have new contact information you will need to secure. By doing this, you ensure that you have the ability to capture their interests when fine-tuning a campaign for them and making sure your fundraising letters end up with the intended recipients. When you personalize your letters effectively, you get to reap benefits such as getting your letter read, improving the donor experience, increasing conversion rates, and building long-term relationships with supporters. In doing this, you will be able to achieve a successful direct mail campaign. Good luck.